Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. It's a little bit of an obvious run to do, but we're going to be running all the big story IDs. The big the big story IDs for each canto, right? The ones where the sinner actually gets an ID for their canto, so everyone except for Rodeon. Yeah, um, let's go, let's go tomorrow's fortune. Might as well. We'll definitely want rags, of course, because, you know, funny. But yeah, it's a pretty simple theme. We'll do them in reverse order, too. Might as well. And there we go. That's the team. Canto 1, we got G Corp Gregor. Canto 3, we got Grip Sinclair. Canto 4, Spice vs. Yisong. Canto 5, Captain Ishmael. And now Canto 6, Wild Hunt Heathcliff. He's a very, he's a very well, uh... Adjusted individual, you could say. You'd be wrong, but you could say it. But yeah, uh... This should be a fairly simple run. We're very strong, obviously. With a team like this. We'll just mount Delhan immediately for the bit. Probably shouldn't mount Delhan when we're still at neutralish sanity. Maybe I should, like, wait on that, but oh well. It's funny. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, um, having, trying to put, like, G-Corp Gregor and Wild Hunt Heathcliff into the same category feels so wrong. Like, they're so, like, different in terms of, like, how much effort PM put into them, right? Like, it's kind of comical. Hmm. Yeah. It's another thing, I'm kind of sad I didn't get to abuse this, but like, PM posted a little patch notes thing today about stuff they changed, I think, today, slash yesterday-ish, right? Oh, we can lament born to spare this guy, we probably shouldn't, um. But basically, like, one of the really funny changes, apparently, and I saw a clip of this, Zvi Rodion was bugged, so sometimes when she clashed, she would just use her death sprite for no reason, and I'm so sad they patched that out immediately. Would have loved having a having a go at that. Well, there's some clips of it out there. It's very silly looking. I don't think it's gonna happen with the new clashes, of course. So there's gonna be oversights. I think there's oversights sometimes with just how the clashing works. Like sometimes you'll be very obviously winning the clash and it does not look like you are. Like you'll just be like rolling like ten above the enemy and you're still getting knocked back significantly. It's odd, but it's also the new clashing is still really cool though. Also, the fact that I'm thank God they're nerfing the overpowered unit of Gross Hammer Merso. They're making it so the counters can trigger rags. I think the only units with negative coin counters, I think the only unit with negative coin counters that isn't a negative coin unit themselves is Gross Hammer Merso, if I'm not mistaken. There might be some random negative coin counter somewhere else, but yeah, it's easy to forget. Gross Hammer Merso sure does have a negative coin counter for some reason. It was the very first negative coin normal skill we got in the game, although it was a defensive skill, so not the first negative coin attack skill we got. That wasn't an ego. Still very odd, though, that's for sure. Will we keep on clashing, get our sanity up, all that sort of fun stuff, eviscerate this guy... I'm actually not sure if Rags triggers on non sinking IDs, so I'm not even sure if it will trigger Gross Hammer or so. I don't think I've ever gotten Rags with Grip Sinclair, so... Tch. I guess we might see it this run, right? I'm not sure if the sinking conditional is tied to the other conditional, right? Because it might be, it might not be. Guess we'll see it this run. Harpoon of Obsession Gaming. Beheading Gaming. This guy would love the French Revolution, not gonna lie. And you're just shoving people into coffins too, how swell is that? Ultimate. Do I have base Hong Lu on the bench? I think I do, I think that's why Sinclair is so sane. Yeah, I do, okay. Always, I, I never pay attention to that, that's fine. He can stay sane. If we get rags, it'll still work out. Assuming rags affect Grip Sinclair. I don't know. 
Well, let's have Heathcliff give a big hug to this teddy bear. Maybe that'll help his degrading mental sanity, right? We can actually enhance this to plus, so it actually triggers for spice special as well. There's no reason to. We only chose sinking, so we'd have a decent chance of seeing rags at some point, right? We could focus on the sinking side of things, since two of these IDs are sinking, but I'm not too concerned. Guido time. Okay, immediate stagger on that one. Very wholesome. I should have countered with Heathcliff, that's right. That's fine. We can just do this fight the old-fashioned way. No, no, no Dolohan needed, right? Okay. We still win these, of course, yeah. We did stagger him, and we are Requiem-ing him. Requiem's not gonna kill, so we don't get the funny coffin, but... It's still funny, right? Nice. Good self-destructive purge. Nothing quite like a good old self-destructive purge. And Requiem time. It's one coffin, at least, but I don't think this kills. Yeah. It doesn't do too much damage unless you're using the actual, uh, alternate version. Okay, we still killed him this- that turn, though, so yeah. We're looking fine. And just one left, which Cabinet Mill kills pretty easily. Cool. Absolutely demolishing through the enemies. That's how most of this run's gonna be. It's one of those runs where we're just using a bunch of super strong ideas. And uh, it's definitely meaning that we're in... We're doing pretty well. That's for sure. Mars Fortune, random ego gift, sure thing. What do we go for here? I kind of do want to go for like maybe like a sinking tier one. Just to get it out of the pool. Might be nice to go for like Midwinter Nightmare though, or like Broken Compass. Hmm. I'll go Midwinter. It'll be nice for just more sinking stuff. And we can just maybe roll for a sinking you get from the shop. Fragger skill change. It's gonna be a no for me. Uh wound clared. I'll take it. I'll try it. Could be good. Like how I said, it roll for singing things, and I've been going for non-sinking things. Sinclair skill change, meh. Heathcliff skill change, there we go. Give him another skill three. Resolution, ah, no thank you. No. I'll just take the lamp, yeah. It'll work. Lamp is nice. I'll just press on. We got some good EO gifts that shop. Nebulizer is nice. We'll get that to plus plus next floor. Should be able to get the Pride Resonances infrequently, but occasionally. We can always use your defensive skill if need be. Right. So that's something. We can get the Poise maintained. That'd be good for us. Your skill 3 is also Pride, so that would work out. Um, could just Dimension Shredder as well if need be, right? We've got options. That's what I'm getting at, I suppose. Funny Clash. Get this guy into the coffin, too. Deserved. Yeah, we win the rest of these with the relative ease. Cool. These guys do resist Slash, the memorial procession is going to be super strong, but that's fine. It's still, like, fine. It really is interesting how Memorial Procession functions so similarly to Philip Sinclair's skill, too. And it's also an Envy Slash skill, right? It is very interesting how much Wild Hunt feels like another try at the bit they were going with with Philip Sinclair, who already was a very fun idea, like, on his own, so... Didn't really feel like they needed to reinvent him. I like what they did with him, though. 
He's Philip Sinclair, but with an additional step of actually wanting to lose a bunch of sanity to get a bunch of benefits from his alt skill 3, and then he exits the form. It's like Philip Sinclair, but with like a complete loop instead of kind of the end of the... Because for Philip Sinclair, the end of his ego phase is like a fairly bad thing. After it ends, he kind of doesn't really fully know what to do, but... Wild Hunt kind of like uses... Just kind of purposefully ends the phase to do a bunch of damage, right? It's a weird distinction, but it's an it's a cool one, I'd say. I don't like it. I guess we'll have to see what the general opinion on him is going to be like going forwards, because obviously everyone's like, yeah, he's super busted, that sort of thing right now. He's probably he's probably really good in the railway, right? Like, I think that's probably, like, going to be undeniable. It's kind of how he's been designed, right? He wants to get a bunch of kills to get his coffin up in order to gain a bunch of attack weight and stuff in order to kill a bunch of people. Like, he's probably going to be super good there. Which makes sense. Was Captain Ishmael particularly good for Railway 3? I don't know if she was. He was nice, like, here and there, I'm sure. Especially because there was like a bunch of random mermaid enemies and Pierce Week stuff like that. And I mean, obviously, she's good to have her quadra. So yeah, she was decent in that railway. I think... Yeah, but I do think that uh, it doesn't compare to how good Wild Hunt's probably going to be in Railway 4. I haven't seen it. I'm not even fully sure what the current Railway 4 like, speed run like, record is. Wonder if Roll King can bring it down at all. It's possible, but I don't know if he necessarily will be needed. Oh, uh, you get levels. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't want your ego gift. Give me the two random levels. Yippee. Now we're all level 47, so we're all even stronger because that's exactly what we needed. I don't think we were strong enough yet, so this will be a little more. Just to really make sure we're nice and bulky. Requiem, we could Requiem, we could just Dullahaw in here. Yeah, probably worthwhile. Pull out my good friend, the horse. Assuming Yi Song doesn't stagger Nico. I don't think Yi Song's skill 1 should stagger Nico. It doesn't even win the clash. Oh, no, okay, it did. Yeah. If it were like a stronger skill, then maybe it would have been staggered beforehand, but not really a worry, I don't think. So we get O oh, Dullahan. And we've now entered the horse. Horse activated. Cool. We can put him into the coffin. That sounds like fun. We don't have rags yet, so it's not going to be super strong. But if we get good luck like that, jeez. It might be. Yeah, no, we're going to get double heads here, I think. Yeah, five roll. Rags really makes it so much better. Really, the best thing to do is just get on Dullahan, spam your skill 2 for a little bit, and spam the skill 3 a little bit later on, right? Just don't immediately go for the skill 3 when you're on Dullahan. That is not how you're supposed to play this guy. That's how you're supposed to play Philip Sinclair, right? Like, you get into Ego Phase, use your skill 3 as soon as possible, because your skill 3 is a bunch of sanity. It's cost some sanity too, but it's overall worthwhile to use. Yeah, that's a fairly big difference. I guess. I don't know. And Nico dies. Excellent. We get our Midwinter Nightmare. More sinking. I kind of just want that stuff for conditionals, right? If we can get the conditionals for Wild Hunt going a little bit more consistently, it would be pretty nice. I'm trying to hit the confirm button. Okay. That was very, very kind of you, game. Kind of oddly. Hmm. I mean, I, I will not complain, that's for sure. We can go Crawling Abyss for Compass? Yeah, we'll do that. Sounds like a good enough move. Gotta go this floor, because we'll go, we're go... We're going to the Canto 5 floor, right? To fit the whole theming we're going for here. Wowie. 
We get Nebulizer plus plus, and we're gonna want Wound Clarid plus plus. And if we get lucky, maybe we can upgrade Rags? No, that's fine. I'm not too concerned. <laughs> We got that stuff going, though, so that's good for Captain Ishmael, so we can just kind of focus on getting Wild on Synergy for the rest of the time. I'll take this. It's, like, not good for us whatsoever, but we could sell it, maybe. I'll probably just hold on to it, though. But only this is the kind of run where it matters too much. Mermaids. Alright. You're, you do a bunch of damage to these guys, so that's nice. Kill. Harpoon of Obsession, this guy. Yeah, we get Hour of the Hunt to trigger here. Very funny how, like, this was our very first, like, innate passive we ever got, and it was just, yeah, do more damage to mermaids. We later got more, like, innate passive type things. I never looked. Oh. Like. Alright, so we... I actually realized... I never looked at the Sandy tab. I kind of completely forgot. It's almost standard, except... After this unit defeats an enemy regardless of their level. So he's got almost normal Sanity tab, except the level part doesn't matter for this. And he actually decreases after losing a Clash. Okay. That's interesting, but he doesn't lose Sandy when allies die. That makes sense. I can't believe I forgot to look at that entirely yesterday. I guess I'm not that surprised. I keep on forgetting to look at custom Sandy tab things. I only learned last week, like, I never knew Butler Otis has a unique Sanity tab for some reason. She just gains more Sanity. From clashing and stuff like she can theoretically with like her unique sandy tap and her passive hand in hand she can theoretically get 28 sanity from a single coin clash like it's insane how much butler otis gets for sanity i've always known she's super good at getting sandy but i've always attributed it to just her passive didn't realize it was also a unique sanity tab no luck that's fine don't really need any sinking you gifts at this point we got rags so i mean we're just kind of rolling with whatever at this point. Yeah, cool to see. That's a logical enough Sandy tab. We lose clashes, lose Sanity, so it's funny. Now he's, both him and Sunglyph have that effect. Wow, you really want to be Sunglyph so bad. You're not him, though. Hate to say it, hate to say it, but it's true. You'll never be him. Cool. Nice. Behead this guy? Do we actually behead him? No, he survives. Darn. Yeah, his skill one is Wrath, so he gets benefits from Wound Cleared. It is interesting how he doesn't have any bleed on him. I was expecting him to have, like, maybe, like, a little bit of bleed. Not enough that he'd be, like, a stand-in for, like, bleed teams, because, like, obviously not, but... More so just because it... The Envy Shield has bleed, right? Like, his skill... I expected, like, a skill two or something just have, like, a random bit of bleed on it. Just for the sake of, like, filling it out, right? If you go as far to, like, give Captain Ishmael random burn, I was kind of expecting him to have random bleed, too. Sinking bleed is not an archetype that's gotten any support yet, so, like... Obviously, it wouldn't be particularly useful, but... It would still be fitting thematically at the end, both, right? Since the stupid Envy Shield gives so much bleed in the actual fights... Uh, we can get more levels. Cool. We're now 49 on everyone, assuming we pass this, which we very clearly will. Okay, if we can just get lucky enough to get, um, King and Binds at some point, too, we can get a- <laughs> we can get a plus 3 to everyone's level to get us to a 52 base. Like, it really doesn't matter too much. And we're in normal mode, so we do not need a stupid amount of levels. But it's really funny. Oh, we got the Bride Rest. Cool. 
need to keep that in mind. I gotta, like, defend with Grip Sinclair a little more, like, Ego with Yi Song in order to get the Pride Res. Because the poise is funny. We're not getting a lot of benefit from the poise, all things considered. Okay. That was an interesting clash going on with uh, that mermaid and Sinclair. Kind of was a little bit hopeless, but he still was trying. I respect that. I didn't see it. What boss is it on this floor? It's probably been on screen for a while while I was just navigating and stuff, and I just didn't look at it, as I frequently do. Well, you can memorial procession this freak. If it's Clam, we could get a bunch of funnies for Heathcliff, so that could be nice. Get a bunch of kills on the little creatures. It is wayward... No, I almost said wayward obsession, no. Um, it's... Silt current. Yeah, this should be pretty simple. Requiem immediately, interesting. I'm probably just gonna get Delahan going immediately for the bit. You can't clash here, that's interesting. <laughs> you can't clash here, that's interesting. You can though, that's my goat. Who's everyone is everyone going for Heathcliff? Seems like it, okay. No. It's really not necessary to do this, but I'm going to do it anyways. You're not going to hit my oomph like that. <laughs> hmm. We'll do this. Save this for next turn so we can get the pride res to get the poise going, I think. So I might consider blind obsessioning the uh, waiver blind obsession, or not waiver blind, but just the normal blind obsession this guy goes for. Nice counter, nice tails, idiot. We get to do some deep damage to the fluorescence, resist wrath, but that's still it's still 100 damage on fluorescence. It's nice. Flash the big fish, man. Yeah, got him. And then this should be a pretty free clash, yeah. We might lose, like, a coin or two, but we're still very fine. Yeah, we get hit by the funny attack. That's alright. We've got this now. We can double Memorial Procession. It's neutral. It's not actually, though, yeah. Moral procession, both of those probably. You're still going for Heathcliff a fair bit. Don't know what your issue with him is. It's kind of rude. Not gonna lie. Uh, what do we do here for the clash? What's a high roller? I just feel ADD this actually. We can't because of speed. Ooh. That's fine. You can neutral that. Might actually lose that class. That's fine. I'm, 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 I like gambling. Um, this is a bad play. Yeah. Do we? I guess just blind obsession. Yeah. Favored. That's probably fine. Let's actually cancel that attack first, though, just so it hits that part as well. Because we want a blood steep sent you. We'll moral enactment you just for safety. That should be good. Yeah, seems nice. Jeez. A little bit close for comfort, but that's fine. We win these. And we blindly obsess. Which does a lot of damage, because this guy's weak to pierce and pride everywhere. Maybe not everywhere. I think the pierce weak might only be one of the parts, but something like that. Oh, it's pierce fatal one part, pierce weak the other. I see. That makes sense. Well, yeah, that'll, we did not need to moral knack with this thing. A little overkill, but it's fine. It works. Let's see if send a little bit of sinking deluge just for a little bit of funsies. You lose your clash. That's kind of expected. It was a neutral. But these, this double memorial procession should be doing a lot for us. Yeah. Pretty cool.
looks like we stagger this part here, and we just kill it straight when we stagger. Because we haven't staggered anything yet, so we got to trigger the contract. Yeah. We're a little bit strong. Uh, what final floor are we going to? That's a good question. Don't particularly feel like going murder on the Warp Express after yesterday. Hmm. Where are we feeling? We go burn. Let's go burn. Moth could be a funny fight. And that is bull. Okay. Also a funny fight. I mean, can't deny that. Legally not allowed to deny it, unfortunately. I'll take Gossipium. You know what? I, I, I immediately changed my mind. I was like, why would I do this? It's the bull. I want to be able to kill the bull when he's staggered. Had a moment of, you know... Just where I just kind of cleared my mind and was like, wait a second, that is a bad move. Sinclair skill 3? Sure thing. Yeah, interesting to know, so... Rags only help sinking negative sandy IDs. I genuinely did not know that before now. I was had a feeling it might be the case, but yeah. So it isn't nerfing Gross and Merso after all, because he's not sinking. Good to know. So Rags, like... It only affects you and Suncliff, right? If it's only negative point units with sinking on their attack skills... Like, it's- it's just Wild Hunt and Suncliff. Every other- Just doesn't gain any benefit whatsoever from it. Just so very odd. Nice. Good damage to that mermaid. Yeah, Rags is weird. It's a very fun ego gift, but I'm not sure. It's very funny how conditional it is, right? I guess the fact that they're buffing it to affect counters is a nice thing, I guess. I assume they're changing that because if you use his, like, counter alt skill 3, then it wouldn't get the Rags effect, which definitely sounds unfortunate. I don't think I ever use his counter skill 3. Every time I... Just had him, you know, horse mode. I think he just had skill threes ready anyways. I might have used the counter once, though, for the sake of it. I might have. I don't remember. I don't think so, though. Lowest star, SP damage, sure. Kind of an unfortunate floor for SP damage if we get other mermaid -y type guys, like pallet people. I don't know if we will, though. It is the burn floor, but there's no enemies that inflict burns, so it just kind of throws random garbage at you. Yeah, figure one. Random garbage. SDP. Gaming. And it's just a bunch of blunt fights on top route, right? Like, so... We might just get these guys, like, four times, and that's the entire floor. Which truly is incredible. Requiem. Oh, we got the- I was like, wait a second. We got the assist attack off on, um, Wild Hunt without realizing it. That's funny. Very funny indeed. Memorial Procession, these guys. Do you get the kill with the, this? You do not. Didn't really expect it, but it would have been funny. This guy does die to Requiem, though, so that's like five coffin then in itself. Because whenever you kill with his skill 3, he gets so much coffin. You know, are all the enemies dead? Yeah, looks like it. So, like, we don't actually get to make use of the coffin, but it's cool that we had a decent bit of it. Shame bull. Um, it's basically impossible for us to get more than one coffin as skill 3. Not a great fight for the sake of that, but yeah, two more blunt fights. Could just be the same thing two more times if we're either unlucky or lucky, depending on how you look at it. I'd say unlucky. 
Okay, no, it's slightly different. Still not burn enemies, but like I said before, we've got like five burn abnormalities, but no burn normal enemies still. That'll change next season, though. Blood Fiend Hunters are going to be burned, mark my words. Vermilion Cross is going to be canonically a Blood Fiend Hunter or something. And that's why Elena specifically blood bagged him. Mark my words. Oh, we can Requiem Mew for the coffin. Riveting. Riveting. Mew when I croak. Mew when I'm a frog. Riveting. Or... I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't even a good frog noise, I'm sure. I don't know how to make a good frog noise. Maybe that's like one of those things I should learn. Frog noises. I'll put that on the list alongside like a Doofenshmirtz voice. It's an interesting to-do list of things I want to learn, but uh, it's only the most important things. Maybe I should learn how to ride a bike. I don't really, I'm not interested in that though. I have no clue how to ride a bike, by the way. <laughs> I have before, but I am the kind of person who's a huge klutz and um, cannot keep myself balanced on a bike. I just have a scooter instead. <laughs> I don't ever use it, but if I ever need to use it, it's in my closet. Riveting stuff. That's some fun facts about me. So yeah, I'm not going to put that on the list since I don't have an interest in riding a bike. Scooter works well enough and it's a lot easier to keep your balance, so uh... It's that easy. <laughs> I don't know what to say after following that. Uh... Requiem, we gotta kill with this. More coffin. He's at six coffin now, I think it is. So that's a couple. If he kills with his alt skill three, then it's an even stupider amount of coffin, but kind of hard to do that unless you, you know, actually trigger Delahan, which I did not do there, right? More enemies done, so now we can just get these homeward. A little late for that, but uh, I appreciate the sentiment, old lady aberration man. He's probably just called old man, isn't he? <laughs> if he's an aberration of the old lady. Maybe he's like the old gent or something. <laughs> Would go hard. Also, the awful you gift to get now of all times. I appreciate your thought, but... Kind of late, for, like, kind of a little bit late for some of that stuff, right? Hmm. Ha. Ha ha. Charge type gloves is an interesting option to be given. Okay, you know, skill three, also an interesting option to be given. Battery. Is it bad, actually? Isn't bad. Fiend sells some other gifts here as well. If we don't need tomorrow's fortune, this does physically nothing to us because it's fixed SP damage, so it can't help. Okay. Why didn't I get the Heathcliff skill change? I don't know. I, I meant to get that. Huh. Well... It happens. That's fine. He, he should still be pretty fine. He's still got... He's gonna have two skill slots. We'll have him Delahan up. Wild Hunter, yo. Me when I wild hunt, yeah. Da 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 Not a bad move. And then what, turn two? No, I just want to Dalahan immediately, I think. We can try it on one of these, but I don't think we win any of these. We'll try it on this one, though, yeah. Worth a shot. You can get the Pride Res, that's nice. You can't clash here, that's rude. You're gonna get thwacked a little bit, that's fine. You'll live. Counter that. 
We could have you clash this, I guess. We have you struggling this and then clash that. Sure. <laughs> He'll win these. I believe in him. He didn't win those. Well, that's fine. Sometimes you don't win those. Kind of the moral of the story. Okay, we're all double honed up now. So then we like just spam skill twos for a turn and then skill three next turn, or do we just double skill three next turn? Okay, we lose those. That's fine. It was worth it for the pride res. She's got her skill three, so that'll be good. Okay, Gregor's taking a little bit of damage. It happens. Okay, that was already a lot of. That was a big deluge already. We didn't even have skill three assistant. Okay, that's fine. That works out. Moral procession these two. A moral enactment actually loses th that one, I think. Uh, jeez. A high roll. We just let you kill Gregor, I think. <laughs> It'll work out, trust. Gregor will be fine. Moral procession is a fairly low roller, so it's kind of unfortunate for us here. Decent chance of it losing these clashes. Yeah. We pulled through, though, so that's good. Lose some sanity, that sort of thing. Get another stack of Dullahan for more damage in our skill 3s next turn. We should be able to double skill 3 next turn. Whether or not we draw them naturally or we have to counter, we'll see. If we do have to counter, it might not actually work, though, because we'll probably stagger him before we get the counter off. Maybe that's being a little too hopeful, though. Yeah, Gregor's fine. He's chilling. Yeah, we'll try unique countering this one. I won't bet on it happening. Okay, no, it'll be fine. I was like, that is a rough looking clash. We want to do this anyways, I think, yeah. Should be a guaranteed win. Yeah, looks like it. And we don't want him to clash with a lot of coins. Because the more coins he clashes with, the more SP he gains, which we don't want. But yeah, you can see we lightninged him there. 1,200 damage. Cool. Decent chunk of that was the contract, I know, but still, a bit of a strong attack. Yeah, you lightning enemies that are too large to actually fit in the Iron Maiden. Although it's, unconsi it's inconsistent, because second phase Cromer can still gets put into the Iron Maiden, interestingly enough. Despite being like a large monstrous flesh creature, but is human enough that it still still classifies as going into it. I don't know why the classification works as it does. Seems a little odd, but I'll take my three levels. Funny stuff. Just running the big seasonal IDs. It was mostly just a reason to run Wild Hunt again, right? I think that was fairly obvious. I just felt the need to Wild Hunt it up. And I probably will for the next few days as well, right? Should come with no surprise. Oh, two star from the Ishmael Banner. Another ish two star. Sure is. Cool. She. She might be getting the Zvi West ID and the Bygone Days. It's either Dawn or Ishmael that it's getting them. I think it's safe to say. Dawn, because it'll be, you know, a while before she gets anything else. Might be like a. Goofy type situation. Ish could get it too, though. I don't know. Yeah. Another day. More wildly hunting. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!